Hey guys, it's Justin. Get excited because I'm back here at Epcot to check out the 2023 Festival of the Arts where art of all kinds is celebrated, culinary, visually, and of course performing. I wanted to bring you along with me to give you a good idea of what the festival looks like this year. So if you're up for it, sit back and get ready for a fun day as we check it out together. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, you can do that right now by clicking the red subscribe button below and click that notification bell. That way you're notified every time I release new videos like this one. If you like this video or find it helpful, click that thumbs up icon below and share it with someone else that might like it. Finally, if you need prayer for anything, I really will pray for you. Just drop your request right below in the comments. All right, just as soon as they open up, we'll jump inside and start our fun festival day. Here we go. All right, since the festival doesn't officially kick off until about 11 o'clock, that's when the food booths open and the performances start. I'm here at Rope Drop per usual, so I'm gonna knock out some rides in that first two hours. Let's go to Mission Space. 44 inch shot requirement for the orange side and 40 inches for the green side, the less intense side. You know I'm going to the more intense side though, that is my fave. You really can't feel the G-forces exerted on your body. It gives you the full flight experience. Welcome to the International Space Training Center. You're here today for flight training, the most thrilling experience that any astronaut candidate will ever have. Congratulations, team. You have been selected to train for a mission to Mars. Teams are awaiting your arrival at the landing site here at Ballas Mariners. All right, let's get in that capsule. We are the engineer guys. We have main engine start. Five, four, three, two, one. Lift off. Computer override initiated. Zero G confirmed. You should have visual of the space station now. We do. You are on course for your slingshot around the moon. All right. Engineer, activate hypersleep now. Activated. Rise and shine. Let's go, team. Okay. We've got a problem. Uh oh. Beginning evasive. Oh, no. They're so great. Hey, watch the canyon wall. Now right. Ease and left. They're coming in too hot. No, we're not. Back to center. We Good made luck, it. Team. You made it to the landing site. Welcome to Mars. Thank you. And welcome to the astronaut corps. All right, Mission Space Orange Track is in the books. It was a successful mission. It was a walk-on because we rope dropped it, of course. All right, let's see what we can knock out next. All right, since I'm right here, I jumped in the single rider line for test track. No brainer, let's do it. Here we go, hang on. Let's do it. Woo! Let's do it again. Woohoo! Oh, there's lightning. We better get inside. Scanning the same car for optimal and more efficiency. Drive systems analysis. Hyperspectral imaging in progress. Right, test tracks in the books and while I was on said ride my Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind boarding group got called. We have till 10 o'clock to jump in line. Let's get over there. All right those of you not aware Guardians of the Galaxy is Disney World's newest ride. The indoor Omni coaster with a 42 inch high requirement. I am Nova Prime Irani Rayan, commander of the Nova Corps. But even we could not have reached you so easily were it not for the Cosmic Generator an advanced piece of Xandarian technology that creates jump points, artificial tunnels that act as shortcuts, linking distant points in space. As the culmination of the wonders of Xandar, you will be teleported to a Nova ship above your planet for a demonstration of the cosmic generator. Thank you. 
right, Guardians of the Galaxy is in the books. Always a blast. One way or another was a song we got, just in case you were curious. All right, let's see what's next. All right, guys, only a 35-minute wait for Ruby's Ratatouille Adventure. Are you kidding me? A definite no-brainer. Let's jump in line. And we are at the Rat Ballet. Here they come. We are back row, guys. All right, here we go. We're all set. Hey, Gusto. Where? Okay. Oh! <laughs> Slow down, Remy. We're trying to keep up. Yes, Remy. Oh, sorry. Oh. Whoa, that's warm. Oh. Look at all those ribbies taking some food. Smells delicious, guys. Oh, put it in reverse. You're welcome. Gusto, I think you have a rat problem. All right, Ruby's Ride to Adventures in the books. Just over a 35 minute wait, not bad at all. Let's see what's next. All right, I'm making my way over to the land to knock out some more rides. Let's see if we can jump in line for Soren. Here we go. We'll begin with Brody in a few minutes, but first I'd like to acquaint you with some important safety information. This includes cameras, purses, hats, and of course, these little beauties. <laughs> Have a nice one. We're in the tower. We are ready for takeoff. So majestic. Hey, friends. Favorite scene. Soren's in the books, and we actually got B1. What a great start to the morning. All right, let's get to that festival. Here we go. All right, just like every festival the arts has, there's a paint-by-number mural. Daily until 5 p.m., but doesn't look like it's open right now. All right, starting off things right, I stopped by the Pop Eats food booth, and I got a new offering this year. The tomato soup. The tomato soup's not new, but what it comes with is it's a pimento cheese bacon and fried green tomato grilled cheese. Wow. Let's check it out. All right, of course, grilled cheeses are made for dipping. That's why they give you the soup. Mmm. Great flavor with that pimento cheese. The bread is toasted and buttery. Such a great combination. I can't really taste the fried green tomato, but the bacon's a strong flavor. I really like this. Highly recommended over at Pop Eats. All right, let's see where the day takes us next. All right, I stopped by Vibrante and Vivido, and I got a couple of items. On the right is the chorizo and potato empanada with turmeric and annatto aioli. And it even came with a little bottle of Tabasco. My kind of dish. And over to the left is the passion fruit mousse with dragon fruit jam. Let's indulge. All right, let's do the empanada first. Mmm. There's some heat from that chorizo. It didn't eat Tabasco. Excellent flavors, you can imagine. This is going on my best of the fest list for sure. Wow, is that good. All right, let's check out the mousse now. Very good as well. Light, tangy, refreshing, sweet. I really like that too. Vibrante and Vivido, you are serving it up this year. Love your style. All right, I'm gonna finish these. We'll see what's next. All right, now for some performing arts right here on the World Showcase Plaza stage is Art Defined Gravity. The way these acrobats contort their bodies just should not be allowed. Wow, they're amazing.
And around the festival, they have these art booths set up where you can actually buy prints. So much variety. Certainly something for everyone. All right, guys, I stopped by the Deconstructed Dish, one of my favorite food booths around the festival, and got a couple of items. On the left here is the Deconstructed French Onion Soup. That comes with beef broth ravioli, Gruyere cream, onion bread pudding, and onion textures. I'm not sure what onion textures are, but we'll find out shortly. And on the right is the Deconstructed BLT. That's pork belly, a soft poached egg, onion bread pudding, watercress espuma, and tomato jam. And of course, black pepper and Tabasco. Let's check these out. All right, let's check out the French Onion Soup first. I've actually never had this one. Hmm. Surprisingly good. Tastes just like French onion soup, although it doesn't look like it. I'm not picking up any onion textures, though. Maybe they're throughout the dish. All right, let's check out the deconstructed BLT now. Get a little bit of everything and certainly that poached egg. Hmm. Just like I remember. So good. So much flavor packed into that dish. I highly recommend this one and the French onion soup over at Deconstructed Dish. I'm going to finish these up. We'll see where the day takes us next. All right, I stopped by Deco Delights and got a couple of mousses. Moose, whatever moose plural is, I got two of them. On the left is the orange moose, and that comes with lemon cake and raspberry meringues, and that's also a stamp on the wonderful walk of colorful cuisine. Yay! And on the right is the decadent Valrona chocolate with dark chocolate mousse, chocolate brownie, and cassis mousse. Let's check these out. All right, we'll go in order and start with the orange. Mmm. Very light and refreshing. Heavy on the orange flavor, so if you like orange in the least, check this one out for sure. I highly recommend it. All right, now for the Valrona chocolate. Mmm. Wow, a very rich chocolate cake. If you're a chocolate lover, check this one out. They have something for everyone there. All right, I'm gonna finish these up and we'll keep walking around. Hi, Pluto. And here's another art gallery. Look at all the selections they have. Wow. All right, guys, I came back to the deconstructed dish and got the deconstructed key lime pie. Isn't that a beaut? And that's the thing about this festival is they really focus on how the food looks and the aesthetics of it. It tastes good too, but they really focus on the presentation over everything else. But this is flexible key lime curd, key lime in quotation marks mousse, and that's what's in the shape of the lime, graham cracker cake and meringues. Wow, let's check it out. All right, let's get a little bit of everything here. Some curd, some key lime in quotation marks, a raspberry. And I really love key lime pie, so this is going to be a treat for sure. Mmm. Just like I remember. I've had it in years past. One of my favorite things around the festival. And this is also on the wonderful walk of colorful cuisine. You buy five items and get a completed price for free, so we'll definitely be doing that. All right, I'm going to thoroughly enjoy finishing it. We'll see what's next. All right, I stopped by the Mexico food booth, El Artista Ambriento. That's Hungry Artist, by the way. I got something that looked pretty intriguing. This is the Jarache de Champinones. It's guajillo chile and corn masa jarache with pinto beans, oyster mushrooms, nopales, queso fresco, and pea tendrils. Please excuse the pronunciation, but let's check it out. I will tell you that this little tostada that it sits on is kind of hard to cut. Kind of tough. Mmm. Excellent flavor though. You can really taste those pinto beans. I will say that this little dish is $7.50. I needed a magnifying glass to find it. Other than that though, it's pretty good. All right, I'm going to finish enjoying it and we'll keep walking around and see what's next. And here's the Thomas Kincaid Studios. My mom would love that. Some more art choices here. All right, I stopped by Goshiki, which is the Japan food booth, and got the Rainbow Katsu Sando. It's a pork cutlet sandwich with tangy tonkatsu sauce and cabbage and rainbow sweet bread. And of course it's getting Tabasco. Let's check it out. All right, let's get some slaw in there. Mmm. Jam packed full of flavor. It really is just a glorified fried pork sandwich. Wow, is it good on that rainbow sweet bread? It even tastes like a rainbow when you add the slaw, too. I highly recommend this over at Goshiki. All right, I'm gonna finish it up. We'll see what's next. All right, just like the animation experience up at Rafiki's Planet Watch at Animal Kingdom, they have something called the Animation Academy here at Epcot during the festival. Let's go draw a Disney character. Here we go. I'm glad to see you here. So, anyways, my name is Lon Smart. Um, I am an artist here at Disney. I've been with Disney about 30 years. And uh, I started working at Walt Disney Feature Animation um, on films like The Lion King, uh, films are like uh, Pocahontas, Hunchback, uh, Mulan. Um, anybody see these movies? Now, what we do when we draw characters, we use something called a model sheet. Now, these model sheets are something we create for every one of the characters. 
and it really helps us to learn the character, how they're put together, and the more you draw the character, the better you're going to get. I'm just going to draw his head, and I'm going to start out with a, a simple circle shape right around here. Now look at where I'm drawing the circle here. It's actually not right on the top or the bottom. It's kind of like somewhere around the middle here. Sketching a little bit of a circle right there. And we can fine tune that shape as we start cleaning the character up later. But again, remember, draw really lightly right now. His eyes are very expressive and he is a cartoon. So don't expect him to make a lot of sense. These characters, when they're in their cartoon universe, get really bizarre. Now what we're gonna do is his ears. And watch what I do first and then you do it. We're gonna draw the ears way up here and forward and no, don't do that. It's one of those differences between Goofy and Pluto. We're gonna drop those ears hanging right by his side. They just dangle away. And his hat, he's a dog, so his hat actually looks a little bit like a bone. So we're gonna do that and it's gonna even overlap a little bit in the front. These little lines help. When you put one line in front of another line, that means that this shape is in front of that shape. There you go. And that's how you draw Goofy. I want to see what you've done. Go ahead and hold your drawings up above your head. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is... Wow, you're all really good. All right, just wrapped up with the Animation Academy. Thank you, Mr. Smart, for teaching us how to draw Goofy. And that's right there in the American Gardens Theater, by the way, right in the American Pavilion. All right, let's see what the day holds for us next. And the specialty funnel cake here at the Festival of the Arts this year is the cappuccino funnel cake. That is not my flavor, so you won't see me having one, but you can have one and let me know how it is in the comments. All right, I stopped by the artist table here in the America Pavilion and I got the duck and dumplings, finally something I can pronounce. It's smoked duck breast, ricotta dumplings, petite vegetables, and duck jus instead of au jus. And of course it's getting Tabasco too. Let's check it out. All right, get some meat and some petite vegetables. Hmm. Not bad at all, great flavor. Of course, it's the take on the classic chicken and dumplings, but the meat's a little tougher than I was expecting. But other than that, a solid dish. All right, I'm gonna thoroughly enjoy finishing it. We'll keep walking around. And here's one of the dining package options for the Disney on Broadway concert series that's happening tonight, right here at Regal Eagle. And at some of these art galleries, they actually have live artists as well. And it looks like they've repaved the China Pavilion. I'm just noticing this as I'm walking through. Pretty cool. And just a heads up, even during the festival, the Mariachi Cobra and Voices of Liberty, they still have the regular shows. So that's in addition to the festival entertainment. Never a shortage of things to do here in Epcot, that's for sure. All right, continuing with the performing arts now, let's listen to some unique music by Victor Espinola. Here we go. Here are some chalk artists hard at work. I see Mirabel down there. They are so talented. There literally is art of all kinds at this festival. I wish I was that creative. Now it looks like the paint by number mural is open for business. And here are all the individual artists painting their numbers. I wonder what it's gonna be. And here's what the paint by number mural is gonna look like when it's all finished. It's a small world skyline. How beautiful. Thank you, Mary Blair. All right, I stepped out of World Showcase for a minute as you can see to catch some art of another kind, some comedic art. Let's go listen to Crush make fun of kids and their parents alike. That's right, I'm heading on up to Turtle Talk with Crush. Here we go. Hey, Crush! Wow! All right. 
righteous, righteous, righteous food. Well, awesome. Check it out. Double barrel, two, three, sixty. Totally tubular. Hey, Adi, what's up? Where are you from? No way. Who brought you here today? Chillin' with the rentals. <laughs> yes. We're in the Parthian. It's an awesome Addy from the Tennessee. Pop fit. Proud parents of Addy? Are you guys? Oh, there they are. Okay. <laughs> They're all like, oh no, man. Now I gotta talk to them. <laughs> Dude, what's up? What's your name over there? Hey, my name's Brad. Hey, Rad Brad the dad. What's <laughs> up, man? How many offspring you got, Rad Brad? Three. A oh, bonus third. Do they ask like many, 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 many questions? All the time. That's beautiful. Brad, do you know what it means when they ask you a question? I have to answer it. No. <laughs> Dude, when they ask you a question, it means they love you more than anything else on the planet. Sweet. He's like, okay, whatever. <laughs> so, when a turtle says, you so totally rock, everybody screams dude right back like this. Dude! Here we go. You so totally rock! Dude! You so totally rock! Dude! Hey, Lana, what's your question? Do you have food to eat? Totally. You're sitting on it. It's called green seagrass and green sea kelp. And the big dudes on it, they're sitting on green seagrass benches. Now look at this. We chow it so hard every day that that's why I'm a green sea turtle on it. We only eat green food. We're veggie, right? So I'm green, the kids are green, and my wife's green, and my favorite color ever, purple. What's your name, man? Emma. Emma. What's your question, man? Um, what do you have to eat? I shall call you Dory. <laughs> Dude, that's cool. You're like double checking the answers. I love it. You so totally rock. Oh, good job, guys. All right, let's get back to that festival. And once again, this year at the festival, they have these famous paintings you can insert yourself into and get your picture taken. And here's another free activity you can do around the festival called Shock Full of Character. Look for different Disney characters hidden throughout Epcot. Definitely a fun one for kids. All right, the Odyssey Center has been transformed into a brand new food booth called Figment's Inspiration Station. Let's get inside and check it out. And they went all out decorating the Odyssey Center for this food booth. There's animation of Figment on the wall, rainbows galore, paying tribute to the original ride's rainbow tunnel, I'm sure. And if you can see it way off in the distance, kind of up to the right near the ceiling, there's an old animatronic of Figment. And they even have a little art gallery set up selling Figment art. A lot going on in here. And this is also where you can pick up your mobile order for the Figment popcorn bucket. The same one that had a six hour line last year, they got smart and put it in the app this year. Good job, Disney. And they also have these imprint tables set up that they used to have back in the 80s. You can put your hand in them and make an imprint. Feels like acupuncture. Very relaxing. All right, here at Figment's Inspiration Station, I got a couple of desserts. On the left is the traditional popped art, and that's just a sugar cookie with blueberry filling. And on the right is something new. It's the rainbow cake made with freeze-dried Skittles. Sounds very interesting. Let's indulge. All right, let's check out the pop tart first. Nothing to write home about. Just a standard shortbread cookie with blueberry filling, but it is the second stamp on the wonderful walk of cuisine, so I'm excited about that. All right, now for the rainbow cake. Again, it's not bad, but nothing special. It's all vanilla buttercream. I thought the different colors were different flavors, but it's all the same flavor. Good nonetheless. All right, I'm gonna thoroughly enjoy finishing these and we'll see what's next. All right, I stopped by the new food booth, Modern, and this is right at the exit of Test Track, by the way. I got a couple of items. On the left here is the Angry Crab, and that is a whole crispy soft shell crab with green papaya salad, mango sriracha fluid gel, coconut lime foam with pomegranate and mango crushed pearls, and of course, black pepper and Tabasco. And on the right here is the Tropics, this is Lily Koi Mousse, Guava Cake, Coconut Creme U, Compressed Pineapple and Mango Gel. And again, you'll see a lot of gels and foams and pastes in this festival because they're concerned with how the food looks and how it's presented. But let's check these out. All right, let's check out the crap first. Why are you so angry? Is it because I'm about to devour you? Mm. Not bad, I was kind of concerned about eating a whole soft shell crab, but 
It's very crabby in a good way. I know a lot of people like that flavor. I will say there's not a lot of meat. It's mostly just the fried breading, but it goes really nicely with the slaw. I like it. All right, let's check out that mousse. Mmm. Punches you in the mouth with mango flavor. Very light, very refreshing, especially kind of bounces out all the heavier foods around the festival. I highly recommend this one too. Good job, Modern. You started out well. All right, I'm gonna thoroughly enjoy finishing these. We'll see what the day holds for us next. All right, I stopped by the Craftsman Courtyard Food Studio and I got the Beef Wellington. This comes with mushroom duckles, prosciutto, and puff pastry with red wine, demi glaze, and baby vegetables. And of course, black pepper and Tabasco's going on it. Let's indulge. Mmm. That beef is cooked to perfection. Very flavorful and tender. Goes really well with the red wine sauce and the puff pastry. I think the puff pastry is actually my favorite part. My only complaint, it's $8.50. Definitely not a good deal in terms of size, a little overpriced in my opinion, but other than that, very good dish. I'm gonna thoroughly enjoy finishing it. We'll see what the day holds for us next. And Disney's making the most of their construction walls here at Epcot. They are adorned with famous prints. What a good idea. And while not an official food studio or food booth, here's what the Fresh Report's offering for the festival this year. All right, I stopped by Gourmet Landscapes, which is the food studio here in the Canada Pavilion, and I got the Blood Orange Braised Beet Tartare that comes with mustard vinaigrette, pickled clamshell mushrooms, and golden beets. It's also another stamp on the wonderful walk of colorful cuisine. Let's indulge. I'll be honest, it's definitely not one of my favorite dishes around the festival. I'm not a big beet person to begin with, but there's an overpowering flavor of that vinaigrette, which I'm not a fan of. The only thing I'll give it is it is very light and refreshing, but if you're not a big beet person, I would stay clear of this one. All right, I'm gonna finish it up and we'll see what's next. All right, just like every festival nowadays, there's a scavenger hunt. This is Figment's Brush with the Masters. You find Figment around the different countries in World Showcase, fill in your board, bring it back for a prize. It does cost $9.99 plus tax, but it's a great activity for kids. All right, guys, it's time for another ride. Who wants to go to Arendelle with me? Let's jump in line for Frozen Ever After. All right, front row. Here we go, guys. Hey, Ola, face Vin. Sure. I know. Can't wait. Okay. Hey, Ola. You got up here fast. Frozen Ever After's in the books. Had a pretty dry trip to Arendelle, believe it or not. All right, let's see what's next. All right, guys, we had a close call. My visit to Epcot almost didn't count, but I got my school bread. You were supposed to remind me, I almost forgot. All right, I'm gonna thoroughly enjoy it, then we'll keep walking around. All right, the next Disney on Broadway show starts in just about 20 minutes, so let's jump in the America Gardens Theater and grab a seat. Tonight it is Patty Murin from Frozen and Robert Creighton from The Little Mermaid. Let's do it. Please welcome the stars of Disney on Broadway's Frozen and the Little Mermaid, Patty Murin and Robert Creighton.
Guys, redemption is nigh. I have finished the wonderful walk of colorful cuisine, and now it's time to redeem my prize. Let's see what we get. All right, for getting five stamps at this year's festival, we get a couple of prizes. On the right is a mixed berry smoothie and a souvenir cup, always appreciated. And on the left is the standard painter's palette sugar cookie, prepackaged for later. I love that. Let's check out the smoothie, though. Cheers. Not bad, just a standard Disney smoothie. I would say the predominant flavors are strawberry and raspberry, but it is very refreshing. I really do like it, probably because it was free. All right, I'm gonna thoroughly enjoy it and we'll keep walking around. I think this is my favorite art gallery, Vintage Classics. Wow, these are so neat. Hey, Donald. All right, guys, let's go board the ball. Right, Bishop Earth. I have not done that in a while. Here we go. Now we can hunt as a team and survive together. There's only one small problem. When we moved, the recorded knowledge stayed behind. Looks like the recorded knowledge is moving too. This unknown Egyptian pounding reeds there is inventing a Judy, I don't want to think about taxes when I'm at Disney World. Huh. Well, yeah. Okay, thank you, Phoenicians. Appreciate that. Thank you, ancient Greeks. Wow, thank you, Romans. Mm, smells like barbecue. Love it. Thank you, Arab and Jewish scholars. We appreciate it. Yeah, I can see that. Hey, Johannes. Praise you, Lord God. Hey man, 
George, you are still here? You haven't retired yet? What do you eat for breakfast? Wow. I need to know your secret. Did you get it to compile yet? Oh. I'll check back next time. Why do I always have a horn? All right, the classic Epcot attraction in Spaceship Earth is in the books. I just wish those headrests were a little more comfortable and I'd probably take a nap. All right, let's see what's next. All right, guys, that's going to do it here from the 2023 Festival of the Arts at Epcot. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you had a great time. I can tell you I ate way too much, but boy, was it worth it. And just keep in mind, this is one of Epcot's shorter running festivals, but it runs until February 20th, so you still have some time if you want to come check it out. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, you can do that right now by clicking the red subscribe button below and click that notification bell. That way you're notified every time I release new videos. If you like this video or found it helpful, click that thumbs up icon below and share it with someone else that might like it. All right, everybody, until next time, you know what I'm going to say. Stay well, stay safe, and God bless. Bye for now. Beloved, let us love one another, for love is of God, and everyone that loveth is born of God and knoweth God. He that loveth not knoweth not God, for God is love.